All right, what is going on everyone? It is Jack and today we're going to be checking out episode two of The Walking Dead Daryl Dixon. Alouette? Alouette? Not 100% sure how to pronounce it. And I did not get the definition for it yet, but I will do that once I'm done watching. First episode. Decent start. Strong start. Uh, left me with more questions than answers. So I'm hoping this one gives a bit more in terms of answers because it uh, it would be nice to to have a little bit a little bit more I don't say substance but we only have six episodes so for some reason going into this I thought we had 10 we only have six so there's a lot more that we got to get I believe from this so and maybe I'm wrong about the six but I, I'm pretty sure it's six so I don't really know if I have a ton of predictions or anything I know that uh everything fell apart at the nun convent so i'm hoping that the journey on the road is not as tumultuous remember you can get the full uncut and early reactions for everything i watch have watched and will watch on patreon down below thank you all for the support on the first episode it's doing good i so said without further ado let's check this episode out Ooh, we're getting some flashbacks to Before the Fall. Love to see it. Ah, oh, Fleur de la Cour. This must have been after uh, the Triwizard Tournament. <laughs> I am jealous of people that have jawlines that strong. Oh, so was, was she some businesswoman, high-level exec? Okay, so this would probably be like, what, 2010-ish? Hey. Eyes are up there, buddy. I feel like they should have gave a epilepsy warning for this one so far. Oh. It's one of those parties. So she went from this life to being a nun. Giving me Fiona Gallagher vibes. Oh. She was just robbing people all night. Yeah, look at yourself in the mirror. Look at what a trash human being you are. Screaming. So I wonder if someone OD'd in there and then just started eating people. That would have been wild. And on top of all that, she's a smoker too. And Sig's nonetheless. That's, that's a good skyline though. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, and they're breaking the glass. Oh, we're going to get variants right from the start. Please tell, please tell me they're going to start running, please. Um, that would be so fucking cool. Oh, this is giving me Call of Duty vibes. Oh my god, from the mission? If you know, you know. Nasty. I mean, we know she's okay. But like, bitch, everyone is running. You should be running too. Damn! Do you two know each other? Yikes. Well, it's giving me Last of Us vibes with the... Just going down the street. I wish we got more Start of the Apocalypse stuff. Because this stuff was so cool. I don't know how many Z Nation watchers are here, but when Z Nation had that kind of strain of episodes or group of episodes where they went into everyone's backstory and where they were right when it happened. That was so nice. I loved it so much. Paris is circled just like it was up on the priest's wall. I mean, that's the plan right there. The plan has changed. Not for him. Something tells me she's, she's going to come down and he's going to be gone. He's going to be dead. Lily. Oh, okay. Lily. 
Uh oh. Oh no. Yeah, that kid's dead. Good luck, champ. Didn't we see a few kid walkers in the trailer too? They're showing us her for a reason. Either we're gonna see her die, or we're gonna see her as a walker. She gets trampled right there. <laughs> Uh, my mind is so dark at this point. <laughs> I've watched way too many of these shows. Oh, Jesus. Then it must be a dead person. <laughs> the question. Damn! I didn't need to question. What kind of death would you prefer? How about a quiet one? <laughs> hey, yo. If the animals are scared, bro, are they moving on from horses to mules? And that's what we're gonna struggle with now, here? Oh, you don't need guns, Daryl. Take care of it. He always does. He's got plot armor. Now they're gonna see just how capable he really is. No. Oh. No, no, Laurent loves him. Let's go. Grab everything. Let's move. Oh, I thought he was sending him to die. Daryl, why don't you just take him on? He's lost. It's too slosh for that. Sure, he ran to that apple orchard we passed. You think, Sylvie? Well, apples are his favorite. Yeah. You yeah, know, he's done. He's got to learn sometime. He has ears. You children, do you? He did. The truth can wait. Daryl doesn't like whistling. <laughs> Gas masks. Ah, shit. Y'all look long as, young as hell. What the fuck? Oh my god, this looks like, this reminds me of Erickson's. Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. Damn. What's that say? It was a preschool. Damn, bro, imagine a whole ass preschool living through this whole thing. Oh god. Daryl is so out of his element here. <laughs> C'est une bonne sœur aussi. Père d'Arid, il vient d'Amérique. Il a été envoyé en mission à l'époque. Il parle pas français. Depuis tout ce temps, c'est américain. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now we will to practice English out of respect for Father Daryl. Okay? On y va? Father Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you prefer Daddy Daryl? <laughs> How many of you are here? 18 now. Some of our friends go home at the end of the day, but the rest of us, our friends never came. Damn. Orphans. And we find through the years, Karim was left here in the basket. And we find Dimitri lost in the woods. Oh. How do you survive? This time. This is Madame Dubois. Oh. And every day we recite a prayer from Isaiah the second time. Yeah, but not dying. Prayers will be answered. I don't know about that. It'd be nice, but I don't know. It's uh, it's asking a lot. I mean, hey, you know, I gotta hand it to them. They're, this is what Erickson's wanted to be. Let's just hope that we don't get them wiped out too, because we have a tendency when our group finds another group to make their homes go to shit. <laughs> the second that we get there. <laughs> One time, I moved backwards for three months. Right. <laughs> The girl by Daryl reminds me of Lucy from Prayer. The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Oh, Lord. Daryl. Oh, God. <laughs> Man's never prayed a day in his life. Saying grace? Yes. <laughs> no, no! <laughs> grace. <laughs> um, Lord, I'm sure you have your reasons for turning the whole world upside down. No, oh, well. We deserve it for being so mean to each other. We probably do deserve it. But not tonight. Tonight is good. And if this isn't good enough for you, I don't know what is. Hmm. Could have been worse. Don't you start falling for him. He's got Connie back home. Daryl! <laughs> That's good soup. <laughs> good soup. <laughs> uh, America! <laughs> they have a projector for movie nights?
Elizabeth. Robin Williams! Right? That's Robin Williams, isn't it? Oh! That's gonna make me emotional, man. I miss Robin Williams. Damn it! <sighs> Damn it! Ugh. Fucking Robin Williams. Uh Shit. <laughs> and I was thinking about movie night with Judith and RJ and everybody. God damn it. You better stay far away from Daryl. I could sleep on the floor. Yes. That is big enough, it's fine. What? Mm -hmm. If she does the booty push, I swear to God. Keep that booty still. How do you know medicine will help that teacher? Well, the truth can wait, right? Ooh. This is that teacher. <sighs> Guess I can go home. He's got a lot of people waiting on him back there. I feel sorry for them. You can't mess with you never had. Ah. I guess. You used to watch that TV show? Yeah, me and my brother used to watch it. Robin Williams, damn it! You gonna get an age confirmation for Daryl? Just a little bit better, you know. Oh, she's so one of the ones that are gonna be done. All right, buddy's packing good. Did she get bit? What's going on? She's pregnant. I'm not leaving her behind. Where we're going is secluded. Hold up. There's no baby hospitals. I fucking always take care of you. Good job, buddy. I'll find us somewhere, alright? You, you pickpocketing. Oh, dude. Wow. That's awful. Oh my god. I mean, again, I wanted to leave her, but Jesus. Okay, hold up. I'm sorry. I have to see how much that gas was. Because right now, given what we're working with, that looks like I, th that looks like either one or two thirty, bro. It's like four fifty here. Ugh. You're not a priest. No, he's not. That obvious. I need to know what other stuff this girl was in. I'm gonna look that up after the episode. To come to yes, sir. When I say family are the people that you're with. She sounds like she was a good teacher. Is. Daryl. <laughs> She'll get better thanks to you. Oh, Daryl, you gotta be honest, bro. God, I'm. S I part of me wishes that they went to other countries earlier in the series. No. Oh. Those penguins treat you wrong. <laughs> penguins. Guys. Oh, by my shield. Yeah, you got. He's trying to. He va se faire des amis. Se questionne, tu sais. Commence à se demander qui il est. Wait a minute. D'où il vient? Sa place dans le monde. Laurent's her nephew, isn't he? It's her sister's kid, isn't it? We're calling it. Oh. She batting for the other team? Oh, God. Did it start eating her from the inside out? I don't think so. I, I think they're dead. When society ends, it ends fast. Get in the car. Yeah, get in the car, bruh. Oh, no, she done. What? Ah, wow, I'm shocked. If she didn't get bit, I will be stunned. Oh, give us more. Oh, no. Y'all suck. Y'all just can't resist from hurting animals. I mean, damn, bro. Wasn't fast enough. Bro, I'm sorry. You couldn't have done anything. What did you talk about? 
This is reminding me so much of Telltale in Skybound with Clementine and Marlin, Rosie, Lewis. Hey yo, if you ain't rocking with Clewis, I ain't rocking with you. Yeah, Daryl's about to solo this castle. <laughs> oh my god, does it have a moat? It does. It's a pretty good deterrent, honestly. A walker moat? I'm surprised they made it all the way. Oh my god, this is the, the monastery, isn't it? Or monastery, convent. Yep. She got bit. Or was that from an IV? Mmm, I don't know. <laughs> Down came the rain. And... Right? That's the song we're rocking with? Yep, the baby's... The baby's Laurent. 100%. Laurent. Daryl! You'll be safer in there. Besides, I'm better off on my own. Daryl! Yeah, and Daryl, what if you don't make it and she's just stuck in there? You really think... You're putting a lot of faith in that rope, my guy. Okay. Bull shit. No shot that held. Yeah, they knew they had to skip that because they knew we'd call bullshit. <laughs> oh my... That's a lot of food! Wow! And meds. Holy shit. Oh, damn. Two F-bombs in the same episode? Shit. I don't speak French. You speak English? Yeah. No, he's speak speaking Soldier. Pig Latin, buddy. Hedgehog. Right. <laughs> Let's go, Hedgehog. <laughs> Keep him busy. Daryl. These people suck with their aim. I hope you got a weapon, girl. What was that? Damn, three? You're American. <gasps> Me too. Is that a damn a fellow? A vet? American. Holy shit. RJ Gaines, how to gettings. That's almost RJ Grimes, the damn it. Star stay, two paced man. I got 40 bucks. <gasps> what? Taste. We're all of us just sticking it out long enough till we can get back home to the ones we love. That's all that matters, brother. I ain't your fucking brother. Damn, four? Shit! <laughs> East Coast, Midwest, even Texas. You went to Texas? Everybody you know back home is gone. Midwest too? A long time. Nice. Huh? What is? You let me go, maybe I can help. Man, that ain't gonna budge. You need some help. Bro, he's gonna end up in the moat. Oh, shit! Bruh. I mean, plot armor, Daryl. will be fine. I'm not gonna be, or not trying to be a dick, but they don't really care if you're American or not. Daryl, what, what do you keep getting yourself into? Come on, dude. Clearly, there's not a... Okay, I was gonna say... Oh, damn. Yeah, buddy's done. I don't know how he hasn't let go yet. I mean, that bums me out, because, like... America, but okay, this this is a little see was was digging a lot of this episode, but why are they just stuck there? Like why did they just stay right behind him not moving or grab out of that was really dumb. I didn't like that. Yeah. This whole sequence was real bad. How did they all get blown the fuck up on both sides and you didn't? Like come on. Oh thank you. There's a ton of other stuff in there that you guys should probably take since you killed that guy already. Oh, rip. You gotta put him down. You can't go down there. Damn. See, this episode was on a really good track, and then all that shit in the mode happened. Come on. <sighs> Yeah, 
Daryl did it. Madame Dubois. Damn, did she die? I lied to you to get a horse. I'm sorry. Okay, well, I mean, ta like, being honest about it now didn't help. Ugh. <laughs> uh, yeah. These kids look up to you, and that's a good thing. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. That was a strong one. Damn. Damn, there's a lot of kids there. I feel like we all had a teacher like that. My teacher is also with the angels. I won't stay here with my friends. No, she never wants me to leave. I'm going to walk. <laughs> Good luck to you, kids. Damn, buddy went back? I suppose those chickens, hens, roosters, they'll all keep on kicking. Oh, shit. Oh, that fell was trouble. And of course, they left the map of exactly where they're going just pinned out. No, I tried. It's because you're her family. Yeah, see, I had a feeling this is where this was going. I appreciate that movies and TV have started making. And okay, to be fair, I haven't been live in the delivery room, but I'm sure in, in middle school or high school, we all saw that those birthing videos. We all know what's going on, but I feel like, don't need to be like that. in the past, they used to glamorize and make them look like they weren't actually going through labor. They weren't sweating, they weren't struggling, they weren't doing the most beautiful thing on this planet. But I appreciate now that they do. They make them glistening with sweat. They make their hair a little rough, like it feels more realistic. Oh my god, wait. She turned? That was fast! He is gonna bite. That's why he seems like a miracle, baby. He came out of a walker. What? Bruh. That's that's pretty wild. You know, no one ever called me special when I was a kid. Not in a good way, anyway. That's <laughs> something. Yep, same. They used a lot worse words that I'd get in trouble on YouTube for saying now. Wow. That's something I never thought we'd see in the Walking Dead universe. A walker giving birth. <sighs> All right. <sighs> he got bit by her, didn't he? Okay, see, if they hadn't been seeing what was going on outside, I, I kind of get it now. And that little girl that's behind her, I think it's a girl. Is that who's with them now? What makes me so with the fro? Anyway? I think so. Wow. Promo time? Okay. Now we're gonna do a mine. A long time to meet you, young man. Ooh. We survive many apocalypses. We will survive this one too. You need to stop lying though. Yes, you do. Ooh, variants. I don't need a hero. Maybe we're the same. Broken until the world ended. Hmm. Now is that just next week? All right, well, there you have it. That was season one, episode two of The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon. It was a really good episode. The, I honestly, not gonna lie, was gonna say that I like this one better than the first one until that scene in the moat. That annoyed me so much. That would, mm, like they do, they do so good with stuff. I gotta go back to it for a second, because maybe I was just tripping. I don't know, but it was really bugging me that it went down the way it did. Also, they dropped four F-bombs this episode. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so so him and Daryl both go over and plot armor ensues. 
they're like slow reaching down, but then they all are going for the guy. And as many can fit around him, as many that can fit around him do. And then, OK, yeah. So this this is what was bugging me. I'll, I'll pull it up for a second. So like we have him fighting him here. And then this scene here with them, are they just are there so many of them that they're wedged and they can't move? There's no chain. There's no nothing. They're all just standing right at the opening down there. And I'm like, what, what, why, 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 why are they just standing there? And they're eating the guy, which, you know, I get, which it sucks that he's dead because, you know, America. But like, but he was dumb. And just kind of wanted it over, I think. But but yeah, so then Daryl's fight. And then like here, there's like a perfect you separation. And like none of them are actually properly going for Daryl. And then you have like, oh, one's reaching here and there. And then again, they're all still basically in the exact same place. And like some of them are literally just standing there. And then he goes, puts his back to all of them, is against the wall. And they're literally just they're standing in like in place like that. That was so dumb. Why did they do it that way? Uh, that just that. That entire scene was so dumb. Oh, my God. Oh, OK. That clusterfuck aside of a horribly directed scene (laughs) like everything in this so far has felt really good really natural or for the most part pretty good pretty natural this was it was so bad it was so bad i'm gonna try to focus on or think about and focus on things other than that right now though because it's it's a very looming annoying shadow over the rest of the episode and I don't want that to be the case. So the backstory that we got. She was like a party partier, you know, you're Fiona Gallup, but she seemed to be living a little bit above her means or maybe her sister was the one that was. I don't know, but so it seemed like she went to these expensive, crazy parties and would like, you know, grind up on people and pickpocket them in the process. So she would come out of the night, you know, with watches and money and all this stuff. And then it looked that guy, it, I think he he knew her. They were a thing, maybe. I don't know. It was con- it was kind of confusing his relationship to her. But I feel like maybe he'll come back. Maybe not. I don't know. But and her leaving him. That was really shit. That was his car. He didn't have to bring you along. He decided to. And I know he was like talking about leaving her sister. But I mean. Practically and realistically, that that was that was the correct decision, if you really think about it, because that's that's not an easy thing to do. And he was like, well, you know, we'll, like, we'll take it through. And obviously they didn't know the extent of things because this seemed to be the same day because you can't really drive that long on one tank of gas. Let me tell you, I know. But so they stop at a gas station and instead of being like, oh, like, no, she like got he was like, we, we can like, we'll take care of you. We'll take you somewhere. We'll, we'll get you, you know, help. And she was like, nope. And then she just stole his car. So I don't, I don't know. I don't really, I didn't like that. That was kind of shitty. Now, to be fair, looking at it from both sides, if that was my sister, I probably would have done the same thing. So that's, I get it, but still shitty. <laughs> it was like the orange backpack thing, except it would be like if the orange backpack guy had a car and he was helping you. And then you're like, oh, could you go do this thing? And then you just left him behind after he was taking you all this way. And so it just annoyed me. But the school for the kids was so reminiscent of Erickson's in the Telltale Walking Dead game with Clementine and Lee and Ada and all that stuff. Oh, that made me so nice. I don't I kind of want to play that again now. Oh, my God. I might do another playthrough of that once I get my new computer set up and I can properly like record and stream it. Oh, God. It was such a good game. But story wise from this, it seems like they're changing their course and where they're going, which is odd. I was getting kind of annoyed initially in the first episode with the the whole Messiah thing, because like we've dealt with our fair religious fanatics and I get everyone wants to believe or not. I get that people want to believe stuff sometimes, but given the state of the world right now, you can understand my skepticism. So. I think if your justification for telling him that he's the Messiah is that he was mid labor with your sister and 
they just pulled him the rest of the way out after she turned into a walker. One, that is pretty wild, let me tell you. But I don't know if I would classify that as the Messiah. Just some luck, I guess. I don't know. But, I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with telling him that you're his family. I mean, did it do Judith any harm for her to learn about Lori? Even though we didn't see it on camera, she knew about Lori. Now, to be fair, she didn't know that Rick wasn't her dad. But, other than that, I mean, I think it, it often helps to know where you truly came from and your background. And so I think that's going to be a point of tension moving forward until, well, I mean, moving forward, we're almost halfway through the show already. There's not a ton of, oh, Aunt, oh, we got, we got the dude, that guy, the, the toy soldier looking dude, the guy that looks like the main lieutenant from Avatar that went back to the monastery and was like limping and all this stuff. It, he went back there and I get they, they weren't even that much in a rush, but they left the map with their exact route planned. And it, well, maybe that's why she's not going to Paris because she knows that that's there and he might come back. So that's why they switched it to not Versailles, but Le Mans maybe. Cause I was here, I'll, I'll put it up again. I was, so I was like looking at the route and I think they're going over here now, either over here, over here, somewhere in this general vicinity, but not straight to Paris, which I get. So it'd be interesting to see his tie in. I've heard people speculating that he's going to get involved with the, the woman at the end of the first episode. I'll have to go back and check her name. The, the woman that looked fairly high up in that uh, group that was on that barge or ship. There's definitely going to be some issues there. And it looked like, based on the promo, that we might get some little more enthusiastic walkers. Because, oh, we're definitely getting some variants, that's for sure. We're getting some of the acid ones. Because, so, someone that knows about Laurent, another group, and, you know, taking people out, talking about the lying, which I understand, and Paris. And this, this is the, the experiment in which this dude... That's like some some Left 4 Dead, some Z Nation, some Last of Us, like Game of Thrones, White Walker type shit, like the like the shaking and just run it. <laughs> and I can't wait. It's going to be so it's going to be so good. So we have him going crazy and she's tweaking out. Probably because this is an acid one, because I can see the vines and stuff, and I'm pretty sure we heard the sizzling. And then that dude's chasing him again. This looks to be maybe another flashback. Who knows? And then we have them running and jumping out of the windows. Can someone say variant? I'm hyped. So, I don't really have a ton else, I think, for the episode. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode down below and what you were thinking about the season and show so far. Remember, you get the full uncut and early reactions for everything I watch on Patreon down below. Thank you for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. And as always, bear down. And this has been Jack. Animal. Peace.